No endometrial thickening, no masses. No cancer. She's on fertility treatments. She had a blood clot. It's there. Millions of women are on fertility treatments and they don't get cancer. Right. They get babies. She had a blood clot and a stroke. She'll get another one and probably die if we don't find that tumor. Do an endometrial biopsy. Biopsy's painful and unnecessary. We just did an ultrasound. What? If you have a personal issue that's interfering with... What are we waiting for? Your four weeks just expired. Your reign of terror is over. Mine has just begun. Now go stick a needle up her hoo-hoo and find that cancer. Hoo-hoo. It went to Hopkins. Yeah, that baby really moves. Oh, yeah, the transmission two-speed power line. Special what are you watching? TV. What are you doing here? Ted's with my mom. He asked a nurse to watch me. What nurse? She's not really watching me. I got that. Do you still have the balloons? No. Do you want to play something? Can mommy come home? Don't know. What's wrong with your foot? War wound. Does it hurt? Every day. Is that why you're so sad? Oh, aren't you adorable? I'm not sad. I'm complicated. Chicks dig that. One day you'll understand. That's what my parents say when they don't want me to know something. They say that a lot. Only when they're talking about making babies and stuff. When you catch them fighting? They don't fight. Not ever? People who love each other don't fight. Right. Forgot that. What floor was that nurse on who was watching you? Two. Good talk. At your age, the type of uterine cancer that develops is not likely to metastasize. It's very treatable. Hey, hold still, Margot. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. Oh my God. Oh. Me pee's dropping. Oh. What's going on? Get him out of here. What's going on? Heart rate's 98 times. We've got to find that bleed. Did you hit an artery? With what? I didn't even start the procedure. Uh. Oh. Liver tumor doesn't make sense. You saying the CT was wrong? saying the symptoms don't add up. A plus B does not equal liver tumor. We gotta solve for X. We gotta look at this differently. What do we know about her? The side effects of the Ritalin cause the... Oh, we've examined the file up and down. I can do that. Why do you people always overlook the human element? What do we know about her? Margot... Dalton. The woman. She's a people pleaser. She doesn't like to let people down. She never fights with her husband. She went to drugs instead of asking for help to manage a life. So if she can't manage now, why does she want another kid? Foreman, need your help here. You want to pull a bank job. Did you go it alone? You gotta rob a home, sure. This is a one or two men crew, but a bank. Look out, getaway driver. I'm not saying anything until the metaphor plays itself out. So, here's the caper. Fertility meds create a distraction. Mommy had three refills on the Ritalin in the last three weeks. That team goes straight for the top floor. No trouble taking out communications, but they need a specialist. Safe cracker. All he does is stroke, blood clot, liver tumor. Foreman was right. This badass even does flailing. Come on. There's only one guy I know who does that kind of work. Birth control pills? While the surgeons are cutting out a chunk of your liver, should I have them do a hysterectomy too? A hysterectomy? I'm trying to get pregnant. 
don't have to lie to me. We're not married. You're a super mom. You can do anything. You work seven days a week. You volunteer. You raise a kid. You still somehow find the time to lie to hubby number two that you really, really want to give him a child with his chin and pretty brown eyes. What makes you think that I Because it fits. Birth control pills caused a hepatocellular adenoma. Explains all your symptoms that aren't explained by your other lies. That's it? Also... I'll have the tune on, Rye. Would you like to leave my room now? The tumor's benign. Stop taking the pill and it'll go away on its own. I'm canceling the surgery. What are you gonna tell my husband? That I'm canceling the surgery. You can do the explaining. It's tricky, huh? It's one thing to say you can't have a baby. It's another to say you don't want one. Personally, I'd make up some other lie. Could... Could I die on the table? Could you die if you tell him the truth? I need the surgery. I'm not on the pill. You can't cancel the surgery. If she goes off the pill, the tumor goes away on its own. You have no proof the birth control pills cause this. You have no proof she's even taking them. If we do the surgery, maybe we'll kill her on the table. Then I can prove I'm right at the autopsy. Or we can forget the surgery, let the tumor grow, and kill her. Why don't you take it up with Stacy? See which option minimizes your risk. Here's what I think she's gonna say. Oh, I love Greg. But if you go against the patient's wishes, you're calling her a liar. And if something goes wrong, I end up in court having to defend the big mean doctor, albeit with dreamy eyes, who wouldn't believe the nice suburban mom. And even though his cane makes me melt, do the damn surgery. Crazy things for love? No, crazy is hanging out in the park all day talking to pigeons. Margo knows what she's doing. She gave up half her liver to save her marriage. No, she surgically removed her fingerprints to cover her pathetic lie. It's twisted and manipulative, I get that. But it's also romantic. I'm barely willing to put the seat down after I pee. Do we need to talk? Nope, I'm fine. So the surgeon got the whole tumor, and it was benign. That's good, right? Yeah, benign is good. How could a benign tumor have caused all the symptoms? We believe all your wife's symptoms will go away now. Oh. Thank God. Look, I'm gonna pick up Stella. I'll call you after I get the babysitter. Dr. Foreman, you can help me. You could tell my husband that I, because of all this, I can't take any more fertility treatments. Confidentiality rules stop me from telling your husband the truth. But my obligation to lie ends there. Uh, are there... Is there a birth control method? Something that won't make me sick? Oh, girl, you're gonna have risks with everything. Especially if you're not telling your fertility doctor. If you keep doing this, it's gonna kill your marriage and kill you. <laughs> 